Churches all across the country made adjustments to their Easter services during this time of social distancing. One Twin Cities church got creative with an early morning outdoor mass. Katie Steiner takes us to St. Ambrose in Woodbury, where hundreds of Catholics gathered without ever getting out of their cars. It's not your typical Easter Mass at St. Ambrose in Woodbury. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. How would you ever think of an Easter being like this? Instead of packing the pews, parishioners packed the parking lot to go to St. Ambrose's Sunrise Easter Mass. This is the day the Lord has made. David Fisher was one of the singers. Coming to the parking lot and to have church outside, when we came around the corner and saw so many cars, I mean hundreds of cars lined up, it was kind of an emotional experience. And after so long of not gathering as a parish, even a parking lot gathering felt like a celebration. Uh, to have the mass and, and to participate together, I felt like we were uh, a body, a community uh, of, of people. It was really a special opportunity. Something about being uh, assembled, being um, gathered and being able to look to your right and left and behind you and before you and to see other believers. So I, I can't put a value on that. It was just powerful. Happy Easter. Father Peter Williams said the Mass outside, a beanie and long johns and all, with his faith community safely social distancing from their cars. For me it was just a really tangible experience of faith, of hope, just of this is what we can do in this time of limitations, so this is what we're going to do. In the lovely weather that comes with the Minnesota spring. You know, I figured last night when I went to sleep, as long as if it's going to be this cold, it might as well snow. <laughs> we weren't sure if we should be singing Christmas carols or Easter hymns. But one thing's clear. For anyone that went to this Mass... This is going to be an Easter that we'll always, always remember. Katie Steiner, WCCO4 News.